in, in the early days, we were feeling our way in a very difficult political and social and, and legal environment. In the subsequent 25 years, the law has been clarified. We have much greater certainty about where native title might exist and where it, it, it won't be recognised. Uh, questions, for example, about how compensation might be determined are now being clarified by the courts. Uh, and importantly, most of the more than 300 determinations of native title had been negotiated by consent of the parties. Uh, the, in the early days, uh, some uh, test cases went to uh, the federal court and then on appeal, some of them all the way to the high court. Once those legal principles were settled, I think there was much greater confidence in the community, particularly with state and territory governments, to just sit down and negotiate an outcome. So that the vast majority of determinations today have been by consent not by an imposed decision of a judge. And of course there's a commercial component. Uh, the right to negotiate has meant that uh, Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islanders are able to sit down at the table and talk about what happens on their traditional land and waters. Uh, for some groups, and only some groups, this has led to significant commercial or financial uh, income. It, for some of them intergenerationally, that they and their children and their grandchildren and beyond will benefit because of negotiated outcomes. And for people who want to use the land, they've found a, a ready source of employment amongst people who aren't going to go anywhere. They're, this is on their traditional country, so they're a stable uh, workforce and can provide guidance on cultural heritage matters and so on. So broadly speaking, there are commercial community and uh, cultural benefits that have flowed from native title. Perhaps the one that is most significant for me personally, and I think in indicates how the system works, is that <coughs> in the early days of the Act, the Matu people uh, processed to the, the uh, Commonwealth Law Courts building in, in Perth and presented their native title claim and a, a jar of soil, which they said they wanted returned when their claim was resolved. Now, Justice French was president of the tribunal in those days, I subsequently became president, he presided at the hearing, he handed over the paper and I returned to soil. A fantastic occasion.